Many of our users ask us about whole notes functionality. This video tries to answer to this question. The purpose of this function is to enable the user to create additional information about the holes and display it in the whole tables in the drawing. What this information is and how it should be output is configured by the user himself, depending on his needs for technical documentation. The whole notes functionality allow the customer to create whole description templates. These templates can be applied to holes in the 3D model and are automatically filled with content based on the recognized dimensions of the hole. Later, this information is automatically used in the drawing of part when outputting the whole tables. Another way to provide whole notes to holes is to attach whole notes for the corresponding hardware components. During the sculpt command, these notes are automatically transferred to the part model. Let's take a look at the steps to use the whole note functionality. First of all, you need to adjust the system to use whole notes. This is a one-time job. Generally, in the production of furniture parts, a limited number of tools are used to machine the holes, so the user manipulates a finite number of hole types. For example, 8, 5 and 15 mm drills are used. For these holes, the necessary templates can be created that can be applied to the holes. The holes notes feature recognizes holes and suggests applying appropriate templates to them. The hole information will be automatically filled in according to this template. So, if we want to apply templates, we need to create them first. The next step is to adjust the whole table templates that are used in the drawings. Here we can specify which columns contain which whole note data. So, we have a ready system for working with whole notes. Now, in the furniture part model, we apply whole notes to the selected holes. At the same time, whole note templates serve as a filter to automate the selection when many various holes are in a part of the furniture. The user controls which whole note templates he applies to which holes. After everything, the last step remains drawing generation. Here, all whole note information attached to each hole is automatically transferred to the generated hole table. Now let's see what information we can operate in whole notes. First of all, we can determine which holes the created whole note template can be applied to. There are two criteria here, hole type and hole dimensions. The set of dimensions that describe a hole depends on the type of hole. For example, a through hole has only a diameter dimension, while a blind hole also has a depth dimension. In addition, dimensions can be specified as exact or as a range. This data later serves as a filter for navigating multiple holes during whole notes assignment. After determining the type of hole for which the template is being created, tolerances can be defined for each dimension that defines the hole. Symmetrical or deviation type tolerances can be set. It is also possible to choose which value of the recognized dimension will be output, the exact value read in the model or the user's predefined value. For example, we have a hole of 8 mm, due to the specifics of CNC, we are forced to model a hole of exactly 8 mm for a blind drill, and a hole of 8 and 1 tenth of a millimeter for a through hole. However, in the drawing we want to see exactly 8 mm in the hole. In this case, we can specify that the diameter of the hole recognized in the model should not be output, but the exact value recorded in the template should be output. Additional data fields about the hole. The user can set the additional data fields he needs, which describe the hole as needed by the user in his internal processes. The user can define up to five additional fields. Those fields are given a tag and comment about the meaning of this data field. The value of the field is entered when a specific hole template is created. It is important to know that the entry of additional fields is determined and is the same for all available hole note templates. Therefore the user must carefully consider what information he wants to additionally manage through these data fields. Let's see how the whole note template can be created in the woodwork for inventor environment. In the example, let's create templates for two types of holes, an 8mm blind hole and an 8mm through the hole. The whole note setup command launches a dialog to define the template. First, to create a new template, select the Add button and thus create an empty template. Before we do anything else, let's give the future template a name. In our case, let it be Blind Hole D8. 
Now you need to specify the type of hole that this template will apply to. We have six types of holes. Let's select the blind type. This option determines which dimensions can be tolerance. As we can see, this type of hole can define tolerances for diameter and depth. Let's do that. Let's say that the diameter of the hole will have a tolerance of plus and the depth will have a symmetrical tolerance. Here, if we wish, we can specify the size of the diameter, which will be displayed in the table, regardless of which dimension was recognized. In our case, it would be 8 millimeters, but let's leave the diameter value that is read from the model. Now let's move on to setting the filtering criteria. One filter is already set, which is the previously mentioned hole type. At the bottom, we see the filtering criteria based on the recognized dimensions of the hole. Here we can define the dimensions precisely or set limits that allow us to apply a given template to holes of various dimensions. In our case, we determined that the diameter of the hole should be 8 mm, and the depth of the hole can vary from 5 to 16 mm. Now let's talk about additional data fields. As mentioned earlier, additional data fields are set by the user himself. These fields are set globally for all created and future created templates. What these fields should be and what they tell the user is purely up to the user. For example, the tool warehouse identification number, technological process operation ID, etc. can be indicated. The user can manipulate up to five fields. For this, you need to specify the name of the data field. You can write an explanation that appears in the form of a tooltip when you need to fill in the field value. Let's say we created the field tool ID, which means tool ID number of the in the tool store. Returning to the template filling window, we see that an additional box tool ID has appeared, where we see the tooltip tool ID number in the tool store. We fill in this field, let's say it's the tool ID number 10021. We do not forget to save the given template. As we talked about, let's create another template for a through hole in the same way. Let's name this template through hole D8. We select the through hole hole type. As we can see, we can only set diameter parameters for this type of hole. Let's say the tolerance is the same as blind hole. But let's set the output diameter to exact 8 millimeters. And let's set the filter so that the diameter of the hole can vary from 8 mm two hundredths to exactly 8 mm. This combination of diameter and filter setting means that the diameter of the hole in the model may vary slightly, but the final data will show the diameter of the hole as 8 mm. Let the tool number be 10214. Save the template. In this way, it is possible to create templates for all possible holes that appear in the furniture part during the company's technological process. Now we will skip the stage of preparing whole table templates for drawings. We will talk about this later. Further, we will examine how whole notes are assigned to holes in the 3D model. The whole note apply command launches a dialog where the first thing that catches your eye is the list of whole note templates we've created. You may also notice that all recognized holes are shown in red and some in green. Let's talk about creating selection sets of holes in order to apply whole note to them. It is easy to notice that when we mark the template with the mouse cursor, we see in the part 3D model, in green color, different holes are highlighted. This is how the selection criteria defined in the template work. Here it can be observed that the template blind hole D8 marks all blind holes of 8 mm in green. Through hole D8, all through 8 mm holes. This makes it clear to which holes a given hole note can be applied. The green color does not mean that the selected hole note will be applied to the hole. Need to add a hole to the selection set for hole note assignment. 
We have two options for this, to select a hole by hole highlighted in green with the mouse cursor or to perform an automatic transfer of all holes highlighted in green to the selection set. An additional highlight of the edges of the hole indicates that the hole is included in the selection set. In the same way, we can remove the holes from the set, hole by hole or all holes at once. Additional options to narrow the selection. Here we see the side filter options. The user can additionally limit from which side of a part the template filters the holes. So, for example, we want to apply the through pin hole D8 node to the side holes only. Let's uncheck the top, opposite, and slant sides and see how our selection circle narrows down to the side holes. We can judge what is top and opposite side by the graphical representation of the side indicator. It coincides with the reference face in the direction of the z-axis. Which can be changed in the grain and oversize control command. So we figured out how to create a set of holes in order to assign a selected hole note to it. Let's make such a set for template blind hole D8. Let's select all possible holes. Before the whole note is applied, we can make last minute changes to the whole note if necessary. However, let's say we are satisfied with the given note content and apply a whole note to holes in the selection set. We can see how the whole note, in the form of graphic text, filled with values, appears at the whole. If we are not satisfied with giving a whole note, we can remove them by selecting the necessary holes with the help of the whole note template and pressing the remove button. Whole note removal is possible for all holes, for this it is enough to have created a template whose filtering criteria match all holes. Set in the template the hole type any in the template. This type has no dimensional limitations and can be used to gather all the holes identified in the part.